Okay, so um, here's our first example. So remember, step one is to plug it in. So we're going to plug in 2. And uh, what we get is 2 to the fourth minus 2 times 2 squared plus 4. Uh, this is equal to uh, 16 minus uh, 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8 plus 4. And so this is equal to... 12 and that's it you're done because essentially what we what happened is this guy is a continuous function and uh, when you plug it in then that means that that's it you're done so the value of the function at 2 is equal to the limit okay so then we've got this next one um, and in this one, so we plug in uh, 4 into the top and the bottom. And notice this time uh, you get 0 over 0, which just means, hey, oh, hold on. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, you got to do more work, buddy. Okay, so more work just, you know, just means try something. Try some, some algebra. Try changing the way it looks. So the, the first thing that we would think of doing is to factoring. And so notice at the top, you can factor out an x, and you would have x minus 4. The bottom is factorable as well. This is a trinomial. And this guy would factor into x minus 4 and x plus 1. Now notice here that this guy, x minus 4 and x minus 4, is the same. Now I'm going to do it the long way this time, and then later on we're just going to skip this you know, intermediate step. But basically what we've got is this is equal to the limit as x approaches 4 of x minus 4 over x minus 4 times the limit as x approaches 4 of x over x plus 1. So the only thing I did is I used the limit laws to break this up into uh, the product of the limit of this guy, which is this first one, and then the limit of this one over this one, which is this guy right here. And so essentially this is always, always going to equal to 1. Now from now on we're just going to you know, do our usual canceling. Cancel those out. But technically, this is technically the way you're supposed to do it. And it, this equals to 1. But notice now that you can now with what's remaining, you can plug in 4. And this is equal to 4 over 5. And now let's take a look at the picture. So here I've got the picture. Now let's zoom in at um, around 4. So here's x equals to 4. Um, and notice that this guy is exactly 4 fifths. So, but in reality, of course, there's, a, there's an actual hole there which isn't shown, but that's what it looks like.